A very well-known um, kind of hallucinogenic substance is something called LSD, uh, which was a, it's, it's a synthetic drug, actually, which was developed by a chemist working for a drug company called Sandoz Pharmaceuticals. Um, and the chemist's name is Albert Hoffman. And um, he was trying to develop um, a chemical based upon a chemical that's found in this fungus. This is a fungus that affects you know, wheat grains and rye grains, um, and it can it'd be quite deadly, but some of the chemicals that are found in this fungus actually have some clinical utility. Um, uh, ergot, uh, or ergotamine, which is this chemical that comes from this fungus, can help to stimulate uterine contractions, and it's used sometimes uh, to precipitate labor. So Hoffman was you know, working with the er ergotamine you know, chemical and trying to add things to it, take things off of it, and see if it had any you know, utility. Um, and um, he found that um, he developed uh, you know, many different um, uh, ergot derivatives, right? Um, and then he created this, the 25th compound he actually put together, something called LSD-25. Um, and it didn't have the effect that he wanted in his, in his sort of studies, so he shelved it. Now apparently, um, he re-examined it um, five years later in 1943, and apparently it was on a Friday, and somehow he accidentally in, took it in. But potentially it was um, transdermal, it got on his skin and sort of got into the circulation. He's not quite sure how he you know, managed to take it. Um, and he bicycled on home and had a very strange experience. And he describes it as follows. Um, Last Friday, uh, April 16th, 1943, I was forced to interrupt my work in the laboratory in the middle of the afternoon and proceed home, being affected by a remarkable restlessness uh, combined with a slight dizziness. At home, I lay down and sank into a not unpleasant, intoxicated-like condition characterized by an extremely stimulated imagination. In a dreamlike state with eyes closed, I found daylight to be unpleasantly glaring. I perceived an uninterrupted stream of fantastic pictures, extraordinary shapes with intense kaleidoscopic play of colors. After some two hours, this condition faded away. Now, he um, returned on Monday, you know, bicycled on back, <laughs> and um, uh, orally ingested what he thought would be an incredibly small dose, um, 250 micrograms, or one uh, four thousandth of a gram, actually. And it turns out this is an enormous dose of LSD, actually. Um, so he underwent another trip, and this was you know, a far more threatening sort of you know, hallucinogenic experience. So a question I have for you, is LSD a very potent substance? Yes. 